And fear of flight, that's what many have tonight after three accidents involving commercial jets in just the past week. We have team coverage looking at how flyers are feeling about this and the investigations into what happened to the downed aircraft. Marsha Bonhart spoke with an aviation crisis consultant today to begin our live coverage. Marsha. Well, Mark, all of those incidents that you just mentioned can certainly make even the bravest flyer pause for thought when boarding a plane. But in a conversation today with that aviation crisis consultant, I learned American flyers are still taking to the sky. A normal Thursday afternoon at Dayton International Airport means it is as busy as ever. The lines move quickly through security without incident. Most passengers not concerned about earlier reports of the crash of an Air Algary flight on its way to Algiers. I was thinking in a few minutes I'll be able to go to sleep. <laughs> Seriously. So no concerns at all about what's being happened? What's Not domestically, no. Ken Jenkins works with airlines after tragedies. I talked with him from his Dallas, Texas area home today. Primarily in the United States where aviation is the safest it's ever been. I, I, that's why I don't think we're going to see that kind of shakeup in, in the confidence level. Jenkins sees Americans may be a little nervous now when they fly, but he feels that will make them pay more attention to their surroundings. And he does not foresee a drop in air travel bookings. For first-time flyer Alyssa Roundtree flying all the way to Prague, Czechoslovakia for a two-week mission trip, despite earlier reports of international plane tragedies. I'm just scared, like, how it's going to, like, take off and, you know, something does happen. Just a little nervous. But you're still going. Yeah, I'm still going. Flyers today are very educated in that they're going to start looking at uh, route maps and what are the advisories that are out there going to the Department of State website for travel restrictions. This woman and her daughter are flying to Las Vegas. When I travel to see family, I focus on that. I'm not really thinking about uh, disasters. Familiar face there for most of us. Well, much of the confidence certainly has to do with flying domestically. When I mentioned international travel to people, I saw a different, slightly less confident attitude. Marsha Bonhart, 2 News, working for you.